Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the best rendering and exporting settings for Adobe Premiere Pro. I know a lot of you guys have it so I thought I'd make a video on it uh, to help you guys out. Also a lot of you guys wanted a Premiere Pro beginner guide. If you guys want that, hit 450 likes on this video and I'll make one. Uh, with that being said, let's get into the video. As you can see here, I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro 2017. It will work in CS6 uh, 2018, 2019, 2020 because there's no reason to switch the settings unless of course you go from like 1080p to 4K or 30fps to 60fps, you obviously want to switch that. But before you get started, you want to make sure the sequence settings match um, the media you have on your timeline. Um, once you're done that, you want to go to File, Export Media. First, you want to select if you want to render the entire sequence. So this is everything on your timeline. Actually, um, work area is everything on your timeline. Or you want to render the sequence in and out. So this highlighted part, um, you want to just render part of it or the whole thing. You can decide. You want to render the entire thing. You would go to entire sequence, work areas, everything on your you know timeline, and then custom. You can choose. You can like choose from here. And basically, it shows a preview. So the ending of the video would be right here. And you can see if that's the right timing for you. Right here for format, usually you would want to do dot, um, H.264 because it renders in MP4 and that's the extension. But it's up to you. You can choose like whatever. Uh, but I would go with MP4. Preset, you want to go onto YouTube. But that depends if your, um, I guess, main goal is to get this on YouTube. Usually it probably is because you're watching this video on YouTube. And so you would select 1080p or 4K or maybe 720p. But here I'll do 1080p. For the output name, you want to name it whatever you want and the destination file, the output destination. And so here I'll do video for tutorial. And as you can see here, if I were to export it, it will, um, you know, go into my desktop right here. And now you want to scroll down here, make sure a render at maximum depth is there. If you're not doing any color correction or anything like that, there's no point of pressing on it. But if you are doing color correction, it will help. It will help in that aspect. It will also increase the encoding time if you care about that. But for me personally, I do do color correction and color grading in the beginning of my videos. So I will keep that checked and use maximum render quality should be checked as well. So you do not want to change the audio settings. It's already there. Um, but for the video quality or the video settings, you want to change the, the bit rate encoding to two pass. It will encode twice and go through it twice. So it will obviously have the highest quality. And YouTube recommends a 16 uh, target bitrate, and I'll keep it like that. If you make it eight, it will make it half the file size. So in case you want to render it faster at a, you know, a much lower quality, you can see that it will probably render faster. Maybe you have a low connection speed or something. Um, you can render it a lot faster if it's six, uh, if it's five compared to 10 MB. For maximum bitrate, you can increase it and decrease it how much you want, and the file size will increase. I'll make it 50 and as you can see it does not increase at all so this is the most important part this will obviously increase the quality of your videos tremendously and then everything else you want to leave so for audio you want to leave it uh, unless you want to increase the sample rate but mine's at max already the audio quality should be at high you don't want to mess with this but for video you want to keep everything the same so essentially you just want to um, edit everything from below this 4.2 right here if your profile is not at high, it should be at high, but you're basically done now. I almost forgot to mention that queuing and exporting are much different. Exporting is you get the file immediately after it finishes rendering, while queuing is you're adding it to a media encoder, and basically it will render in the background, but you still have to export it later. So the reason people queue it instead of export is because they still have a video to edit in Premiere Pro, while um, if you export it, you have no way to edit while it renders in the background. This may be helpful if you edit a lot of videos like in the same day and you don't want to wait for rendering. Uh, instead, you can render all the videos at once at the end of the day. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you want uh, Adobe Premiere Pro uh, beginner guide, um, just hit the thumbs up button. Let's try to hit 450 likes for that. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.